Hello there, uh, welcome back to part two of White Leg Junction. Uh, over a course of months or a few years, um, as I said in the last video, I'm building this new layout for exhibition. Um, I do get asked a lot of questions at the shows on how to do certain things, so hopefully over the period of months and these videos, I'll uh, try and answer as many as I can. As what I shall do, anything that's going on the board, I shall put down uh, Steve's Loft part and then whatever number it is and then a brief description. Anything that I do off the board, uh, I for making bridges, converting locos to DCC and that type of thing, I'll put down as Steve's Loft extra and then a brief description of where it is. But this video is just to show how to lay cork i do get asked a lot of questions as i said and one of them is what's the best way to lay cork on the boards um and i'll try and explain it to them and i thought well, while i'm doing this layout i'll uh, do a film and then you can see it progress over the period of months and that uh, there is two types of cork you can buy you can buy it in rolls which is about three foot by two foot in size which come like this And I use thickness of 1 16th. Uh, and then um, you can get them in strips of cork, which comes like this. And it's just wide enough for the track to go in. I'll just show you what I mean. And that's how, it, how you put it on. Oh, if I can get that in the camera right. It, it basically, it just covers just over the edge. And it, when you put this on, it gives you a bit of a shoulder for the uh, ballast to look as though it's real but uh, with end gauge I tend not to bother because when you think of it one mil six inches two mil is a foot so and it's not very obviously ballast of a foot deep I think so uh, is what I use is the sheet it's got its good and bad things bad thing is it does it it is expensive uh, rolls I bought for five pound up to eight pound um, but it covers a bigger area. Anyway, I'll get on with this video and I'll show you what I do. Uh, I do use, uh, one of the questions I get used, asked is what type of glue I use. And I use, uh, one of the glues I use is, I use Evo Stick Wood Adhesive. I use the blue one, you can see that, as it's waterproof. And the reason I use the waterproof one to stick the, um, cork down is that later on when you start ballasting you're going to be spraying a lot of water on the ballast to soak it through and the last thing you want to do it is the cork lifting because it's you've put in a normal evo stick which is the green bottle and this isn't this is not waterproof whereas this blue one is and it just saves any danger of the ballast, uh, the cork lifting with all the water that's being sprayed um, I use it, it is a couple of quid dearer than the normal glue, Evo Stick's a good make and it works very well for me. Alright, right, I'll start.
what I would advise is um, if you're doing it with the boards up like I'm doing it it's just to leave a gap between each board so if any glue does go down the middle it's not going to join the glue uh, the boards together um, I've done it on the other part of my board and forgot to split the boards and glue went down and it's a right pig of a job to break it um, but and that's what you do for now um, I'll carry on pouring some glue down here and then when I come to lay the cork I'll let uh, restart again see you in a minute there we are it's all all the glues down all the way through uh, this is the gaps I mean at your baseboard joint just unscrew them a bit so there's a gap there two reasons is I don't know whether you can see that there's glue gone down the side it stops the boards gluing together and uh, it's all the way down and now I'll just let it go off for a couple of minutes and then I'll uh, put the cork on There we are, as you can see, all the corks down. Uh, now it's all drying off. It needs just trimming round. Uh, I've done some of it just here, uh, from this board all the way through to where the bridges are going to be. And then, uh, so 
sorry for the shaky camera and then uh, uh, it is on the other side um, as I say for the cork use the the blue bottle which is waterproof and then anything that goes on top of the cork the track or anything like that use the green unwaterproof one so say it's best to use a waterproof adhesive that way it's not going to lift when you start using uh, water for the ballast and as you see here the gap this is at the left between the track there we are it just shows that the glue doesn't stick down the sides there and you just can get your knife and then just trim it to the sides on all the joins well, I hope that's been informative for you um, and next time I start laying the track well, so bye for now then uh, if you'd like to subscribe or leave a comment please do so right, bye for now then